Hi, this is Joel. Thanks for joining me. I will be praying for President Trump today, and today's focus is going to be on policies. Uh, so every every day, I like to uh, choose a different category in which to pray for President Trump. And since today is Thursday, that is why I'm choosing to talk about policies and to pray about President Trump and that God gives him wisdom when he creates policies. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a few uh, different scriptures and to get just to get uh, a good understanding of what God requires and what God wants out of us and what God promises to us in regards to some of the different types of policies that we're going to be praying about. So first, we want we we want to make sure that uh, uh, the policies that the U.S. Um, has as law are in alignment with what God says. Okay, so first we're going to look at a few scriptures regarding righteous and just policies. Okay, so Leviticus 19.36 says, Just balances, just weights, a just ephah, and a just hen shall ye have. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe all my statutes and all my judgments and do them. I am the Lord. Okay, so uh, Yahweh is speaking um, to the children of Israel through Moses. And what he is saying is that just balances, just weights, uh, just uh, ephod, these are all, in a just hand, these are all different types of way to measure uh, material and liquids. That's uh, what the ephah and the hen, hen are. So what uh, Yahweh is saying in the scripture is that uh, you as a nation, Israel, need to have just balances and just ways, weights. Uh, so when you uh, judge a matter that you judge righteously, um, and in all areas of life, uh, God wanted the children of Israel to be fair and to be just. And so what we want to do is pray that President Trump, uh, as he thinks of policies and as he signs executive orders and as he vetoes orders, that he has in mind uh, and that he be led by the Spirit of God to enact just and righteous laws and policies. Okay, next, in regards to abortion policies, uh, we want to pray that President Trump keeps fighting against the killing of babies. Um, one thing that really angers me is uh the amount of abortions that I hear that have been done here in the US and all around the world and that this is legal. It's just mind baffling how many millions and millions and millions of babies have been killed uh, through abortion and and we allow it to happen. So, we want to pray uh, for President Trump that he enacts laws and policies that go against abortion and killing of babies. And that actually we want to reverse uh, a lot of the laws on the books in regards to abortion. Some of that has already happened. Uh, Planned Parenthood uh, for example, has been defunded in many places, or at least their funding has been minimized. But we want it gone completely because we know Exodus 20 verse 13 says, thou shalt not kill. And abortion is a form of murder. It's a form of killing. 
um, this this is uh, one thing that I know that God hates. So this is something we also need to keep in mind as we're praying. Next, we want to pray that President Trump supports the institution of marriage between one man and one woman. So anything un other than one man and one woman uh, joining together and getting married is is not marriage. Marriage is defined uh, by the scriptures is between one man and one woman, not one not uh, two men or two women or uh, something else besides that you know you can't marry a tree that's not that's not right. So the laws that we have uh, should align with God's word. So we want to pray that President Trump, makes good legislation, righteous legislation, in support of the institution of marriage as defined by Yahweh. Uh, we uh, Let's look at a few scriptures. One, Matthew 19, 5 says, And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. So man, the world is trying to get rid of the proper definition of marriage. And so that it includes all things that all types of things that are not uh, correct. Um, so we want to make sure that we lift uh, President Trump up so that he has the wisdom to create the right policies when it comes to marriage. Okay, so next we're going to look at gender policies. So we want to pray uh, for Trump to develop and support policies that affirm man and woman as defined by Yahweh. So Genesis 127 says, so God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Okay, so male and female are the only genders that exist. There's nothing else. No matter what people say or how confused they are, there's nothing else. Just male and female. And the confusion of certain individuals about their sex doesn't change the laws of nature given by yad heh vav -Heh, by Yahweh. It doesn't change the laws of nature given by God. So if someone is born biologically a man, but they think they're a woman, I do not have to agree with them, take that stance or call them by a pronoun that they prefer. I prefer to call people by what God says, who God says they are. So if God has made a person a man, they are a man. If he's made them a woman, they are a woman. And it's not hard to figure out which one you are. So if you're confused, that is your issue. And I, I'm willing to pray for you, but I'm not going to call you something that you're not. OK, so one thing that I'm going to pray for and we should all pray for is for President Trump so that he has the courage to stand up against all these groups that want to change the way we look at male and female. God created man and woman, and that's it. And he didn't give us the ability to change our sex just because that's what we'd rather do. Okay, in this next slide, uh, we can just look at some other categories that we can pray for and be praying for during the week and during on, on your spare time. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of these uh, different categories, but, the, you know, there's many different types of policy issues that are going on. And in the future, I'll probably focus on some more specific policies that we can be looking at and praying about. Um, but keep in mind all of these different types of policies, abortion, health care, law enforcement, marriage, uh, gender, economical policies, religious freedoms, free speech, and education. All these things are very important. So uh, 
let's now go in prayer. We've we've read the word and now we uh, have a good uh, understanding of what God wants and what he requires. Yeah. Heavenly Father, uh, we ask, Father, that uh, President Trump, when it comes to abortion laws, that he stand up against abortion. I pray that he will fight the uh, the groups and the individuals that would like to uh, for for abortion to uh, be carried out in this nation. And I pray that he will have the backbone to uh, sign executive orders and to uh, not support uh, giving funding to all of these abortion clinics, Father. I pray that uh, your will will be done. We know how uh, in your word you do not uh, allow us to kill. You said thou shalt not kill. And we, we know that the children of Israel, you were angry at them for them offering up their children to the God Molech, Father. So we're asking, Father, that this abortion be stopped in our nation. Things that seem hard is not hard or impossible with you. With you, all things are possible. So we're going to be praying that this, we, we pray that this uh, abortion will be stopped, Father, in this nation, Father. Uh, we ask, Father, also for uh, marriage policies. We pray, Father, that marriage uh, be uplifted and upheld. We ask that the institution of marriage between one man and one woman uh, will be supported by President Trump, Trump when it comes to policies that are created, Father. We uh, know that it is your will that uh, people be married when they live amongst each other and when they have children. That is your way of doing things, Father. So we ask not only for uh, President Trump to support it, but we also ask that the leaders uh, in our nation, the spiritual leaders, will also take a stand for marriage and the biblical sense, Father, and, and not support uh, what is called gay marriage, Father, and, and uh, things that are not right, things that are not holy. We ask this in the name of Yeshua. We also ask that uh, you give President Trump wisdom in regards to creating policies surrounding gender. We know that you have created man and woman in your in image, in your own image, and there is an attack right now on uh, how we should uh, label individuals who think they are a man but are really a woman and vice versa. We pray, Father, that our government will stop creating these laws that go against your word, that go against the laws of nature. Um, we ask that um, your will will be done, Father. Not man's will, but your will will be done in this nation. And we love you and we thank you. We give you praise. And we also pray for um, all of the different policies that President Trump has to make in regards to law enforcement, especially, Father. And we ask that he uh, can give a clear uh, message that unifies this nation uh, because we need our law enforcement. We need uh, we need them to enforce the laws, Father. You are a God of justice. And so we, we pray for justice to be done in this land and justice to be done all over the earth. Uh, we are also asking that you give President Trump wisdom as he makes economic policies and as he makes educational policies that affect our children, especially, Father. Uh, we give you glory and we give you honor and we give you praise. We thank you that you hear and you answer our prayers. And we love you and we thank you in Yeshua's name. Amen. Okay, thanks again for joining me and shalom.